people, we're back again. My name is Alonso Magical and I have something very special for you guys this week where we always turn some of these into beautiful beats and this week we are focusing on something special. Groove, drums, how to express yourself, express yourself through your drum kit. So without further ado people, this is Weekend Beat Time. Alright guys, so we're back and like I mentioned, what we're going to be focusing on um, this, this tutorial, it's going to be on your drums, but the main focus is, is I'm going to teach you guys a little strategy that I picked up, a little strategy that I developed and how I feel so I can get the most out of my expression. You know, it's like an exercise that you can do. It's not an exercise, sorry. It's like as you're making your beat, it's how you can visualize the drums coming together. So that you guys can really, really find the right expression on your drums, whether it's groove or it's something a little bit more hardcore or something light, <coughs> whatever it is. All right, guys. So let's get started. All right. All right, guys. So there are three very important <coughs> factors when it comes to developing the, the the expression of your drums all right these are the three the first thing is you have to layer your drums first before you figure out your sample pattern before you figure out your chords if you play keyboards and you do all that work do your drums first all right the second is you have to have an understanding of the speed that you want to express, all right? So as you're starting to develop your drums, you should already have a tempo in mind. This is before you even lay your, your samples on it. And the last thing, guys, and probably the most important thing, is that you should be focusing on your kick. Your kick, all right? I'm gonna go through each one of these. I'm gonna use this particular beat, all right? Nothing special, just a loop, yeah, right? And we are going to make changes, right? We're going to make changes to the speed, to the kick. We're going to go through a couple of different exercises, like I told you. <coughs> um, and create some different grooves out of the same thing, all right? Let's get into it, guys. Let's do it. I'm going to show you this exercise. The first thing that I want to talk about is your drums before you sample, all right? I'm going to show you the sample that I used uh, on this beat, alright? And I'll explain to you. As you're listening to your sample, in your mind, start developing, start developing the feel that you want. Is it going to be hardcore? Hardcore? Is it going to be like quirky? You know? Or is it going to be groovy? You know what I mean? What is it going to be? So. Let me play the sample for you, all right? I wanted something groovy, you know what I mean? Something with some, you know what I mean? Something that will, that will flow and that sort of thing, right? Here's another sample. Fuck, I'm giving away all my secrets. Here's this shit, all right. Oh, hang on, that's a chop. Sorry, my bad, my bad, my bad. Where are you, man? Where are you, sucker? I'll get into how you select samples and you know little tricks and stuff later. But the point is, here in these, I already figured out that I want something groovy. You know what I mean? You already feel it because of your samples. I knew what I was, what I wanted. I wasn't gonna make a hardcore beat with shit like this. You know what I mean? So already in my mind, in my mind, I understood what my sample needed. All right, so I already knew the speed. You see what I mean? I knew it wasn't gonna be like, boom, 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 boom. you know, it wasn't gonna be like that. It was gonna be like, boom, 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 boom. it was 
going to be like groovy and slow, man. I could already feel. I'm, I'm, guys, go by the feeling, yeah? Don't be so technical, man. Just go by the feeling. Um, I already knew what speed I wanted, all right? So I started lacing my drums first, all right? That pretty much covers this aspect of it, all right? Go by the feel. You find your sample. It starts giving you the feel that you want. You know, do you want groove, something heavy? You start making that up in your mind. So how do you express groove? How do you express a heavy beat? I'm going to show you guys the most important part, all right? This is where the fun begins, guys. The kick. Let's do it. All right, guys. So this, this is the exercise that I visualize, all right? This is what I visualize when I'm making, when I'm finding how, how can I express on, on a beat, all right? This is the thing. Picture yourself as two people, all right? When you're in a band, right? You got a guy on bass, you got a guy on percussion, a guy on keys, a guy singing, a guy on the trombone, whatever the hell you're into, right? <clears throat> Each member is carrying their own instrument, their own energy, and they are interacting with the different people, uh, the different band members. They are jamming. You haven't got that when you're making a beat. So what you need to do is, you need to jam with yourself, all right? You need to jam with yourself, because jamming, all right, with the band, jamming with yourself, jamming with your instruments, <coughs> playing things on loop, you know that feeling when you're hitting the pads with the keys and, and you start nodding your head, you're getting into it, you're in a trance? That's jamming. You need to do that when you're developing your drums, when you're finding your rhythm, all right? So this is what I do. What I do is this. I separate myself into two people. One is the, but he's playing like the hi-hat, or mainly the snare, and the other person is playing the kick. All right? So picture it this way. All right? I am the snare. Oh, I feel like a schizophrenic, right? But anyway, the point is like this. Split yourself up. Like this. I'm only playing the snare. Alright? What's the guy in the kick doing? He's communicating and jamming with the guy that's playing the snare. One is on one side and one is one is on the other side. The kick and the snare are jamming. All right. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the kick. I'm going to take the kick off and I'm going to play the kick with some different patterns. All right. So you guys can understand how changing how you communicate the kick in relation to the snare will affect the rhythm will affect the, the way you express on your beat. All right, let's do that. All right, guys, so what I've done is I've muted the, um, I put mute on the, on the kick, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jam uh, the kick with the snare, all right? I'm gonna picture myself just playing the kick, and I'm jamming, I'm trying to communicate how I feel to the snare, all right? So um, let's do that, all right? I'm just gonna freestyle this, all right? It's not gonna be perfect but you will see the thought process of trying to find different rhythms, all right? The kick, the kick, the kick, the kick. Let's do it.
saying? You can get different di different feelings out of it. Different feelings. Depending on how you decide to communicate your kick with the snare. Alright? Alright guys. So let's go through a couple of, uh, just a couple of beats here on my, uh, you know, that I've made. And let's look at how I've expressed through the kick. Alright? The first one here is real like a slowish heavy beat it needs to be like a not an anthem but it needs to be really firm in its in the drum presence right you'll see what i mean see what i mean Guys, let's look at uh, another beat where the kick is present, but it's short and it communicates well with the snare. Now, this is on the complete other side of the spectrum. The last one was really heavy, big, long uh, drums, you know what I mean? This one's nice and short and quirky, all right? Quick. Last one, I'm just going to demonstrate. Uh, it's an older beat, but just good old boom bap. Yeah? Here out for the kick. See how the kick just keeps the rhythm going? It doesn't make it clunky. It doesn't make it really heavy. It just keeps the rhythm going. Going. Because what I wanted to get out of this track was a trance. You know what I mean? To suit the pianos. Focus on that kick. It's gonna work wonders for you, man. If you focus on that kick. You know what I mean? 